welcome back. My name is Joseph Anderson, and this is RM University's 90-Day Jumpstart Program. Today we're going to talk about the value of exercise. Elder Joseph B. Worthland said, Exercise is an important part of our day, and the time spent in it will pay dividends. I want you to think back to the time that you were on your mission. You were doing the most important work that you've ever done, and the most important work for others that you've ever done as well. Yet even then, we were asked, and we were given in our schedule 30 minutes every single day to exercise. No, you may be thinking, we walked you know, tons and tons of miles. Why in the world wouldn't that count? Well, the brethren didn't feel that was enough. They wanted us to do some sort of strength training exercises to keep our bodies physically strong so that we could do the work that God, that God had called us to do. And in your own life, it's important to stay in incredible physical health so that you can do the work that the Lord has for you. We look at the work that the brethren do, and they're 80 and 90 years old, and they're in incredibly good shape because they take care of themselves. They exercise. And you may be thinking, I don't have time. I've got school. I've got work. Hey, think back. Like I said to your mission, you were doing the most important work, and it was still important then. If it was important on your mission, then it's definitely an important part of your life. But I want to ask you personally, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being life-saving and 1 being it doesn't matter, where does exercise fall on your scale? No, where do you want it to fall on your scale? What value and what benefits does exercise bring to you personally? I want you to think about that. And it brings in, you know, it creates endorphins, which creates energy, makes you literally happier. If, if somebody ever says they're depressed it's, and they start exercising, now I'm not a psychiatrist or anything, but uh, it's, it's almost impossible to be that way when you're exercising. Now, where do you want to be exercise-wise? Do you want to be in decent shape? Do you want to be in incredible shape? Or do you want to be in a big round oval shape? <laughs> it's totally up to you, and nobody can make that decision for you. You have to decide what is important to you and then once you've decided that, you have to be willing to pay the cost. Somebody that's in incredibly good shape spends probably about 45 minutes, almost five or six days a week working out. Is that a price you're willing to pay? And let me ask you this, if you're not, what will it cost you if you don't start working out? What activities have you missed out on by being out of shape? Who have you missed out on dating by being out of shape? Because like attracts like. People that are in shape generally go out with people that are in shape. There's so much to being in shape. What is the biggest reason that you can think of right now for getting into shape? How, what will it cost you looking down the road 20 years if you don't decide today to make exercise a valuable part of your life. Now let's flip that around. I, I want you to picture that you've worked out now for 20 years on a solid exercise program. And I want you to see where you're at, you know, and, and where your family's at, and the example that you've been able to set for them. And now I want you to bring it back to today. What are you willing to commit to do today to start exercising? Are you willing to go out for a run, a hike? You know, maybe it's push-ups and sit-ups. Whatever it is, I want you to commit to something specifically today on that paper that you printed out. What is your commitment that you're willing to commit to exercise-wise for the next 30 days? Now, what will you gain by exercising? What are the amazing things that could happen in your life if you begin exercising? How will you feel if you begin exercising? And what level of health will that create for the future by beginning to exercise today? As you really begin to think about it, and in Romans 10, 12, 1, it states, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 
we're given a commandment here that we present our bodies holy and acceptable unto the Lord. Now we understand there's some people with some physical limitations and that, that's definitely the exception here. Do the best you can. That's, that's all we ask there. But we're given a commandment to keep our bodies in excellent physical shape. And I can promise you as you do this, it will pay off, as Elder Worthlin said, in dividends. And you feel so, be so much better. One other side effect of this is generally when you're in much better shape, you have a lot more confidence. You know, when you want to go up and talk to a girl that is incredibly good shape, when you're also in really good shape, it helps a ton. And it's also about learning to discipline yourself, the discipline that it takes when that alarm goes off to say, okay, I'm going to work out as opposed to stay sleeping in. So thank you so much for joining us for this episode of RM University, Day 8. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day.